We have recently returned from the Kingdom of Bikesland, where, over the course of seven days, we conducted our first ever state visit. Together with the leader of Bikesland, King Christopher, we enjoyed state dinners, participated in diplomatic discussions, bestowed awards, made speeches, and conducted a joint training mission with the Vikeslandic Security Force. As a result, we are happy to announce that our friendship with Vikesland is now stronger than ever, and we wish to thank the royal family for their hospitality during our stay. Our state visit with Vikesland was only the first event on a virtual rainbow tour through the micronational world of diplomacy. This month, Cal Sahara signed treaties of friendship and recognition with representatives from three sovereign nations, the Empire of Austinasia, the Kingdom of Ruritania, and the Grand Duchy of Flandrensis. We have also entered into a delicious trade agreement with the Republic of Tea. This new trade relationship promises to be a steaming pot of vanilla almond goodness. Our reputation as an emerging leader among small nations has been solidified by these diplomatic overtures, and the message is clear. Cal Sahara has come of age. To further illustrate Cal Sahara's position as an international superpower, many of you know that over the past several months I have been involved with mediating the dispute between our protectorate West Arctica and the government of the Grand Duchy of Flandrensis. I am happy to announce that earlier this week I had another talk with the leader of Flandrensis, Grand Duke Niels, and also the Prime Minister of West Arctica, Count Wash. And together, we have reached an agreement that is symbolic of the desire of those two peoples never to go to war again. Here is the paper which bears their names upon it, and mine as well. My good friends, this is the first time in our nation's history that we have sat down at the negotiating table and found peace with honor. I believe it is peace for our time. The settlement of the West Arctica problem, which has now been achieved, is, in my view, only a prelude to a much larger settlement in which all the world may find peace. After the efforts of the Prime Minister and the Grand Duke in the cause of peace, it is my fervent hope that a new era of prosperity and friendship may be dawning among the peoples of the world, an era ushered in by the rising sun of the Kingdom of Kal-Sahar. Long live the nation of Kal-Sahar. <laughs>